Hi, everyone, and welcome. I am introducing to you the All Together Alphabet Die Set. Now, these are actually two die sets. You have a capital letter and a lowercase letter die set. These are on one plate, so the capital letters are on one plate and the lowercase is on one plate versus having each letter individually. So you can just run this through your die cut machine with a sheet of cardstock and get all of these letters. One of the first things I noticed when I die cut out these letters is you're getting multiples of some of the most popular letters like the A, the E, the O, R's and S's, it seems like those are always the letters you need more of. So instead of die cutting it multiple times, you can run this through with one pass and you're going to get multiples right away of those popular letters. Same thing with the lowercase set, you're getting some of those popular letters uh, multiple times. So there'll be two A's, two E's. There's also a heart and a star you can add to your card fronts. And then numbers if you wanna do a year or maybe birthdays and anniversaries. Now again, here, Press and Seal is going to be your best friend. So I found that I could die cut out the capital letters from a full piece or full A2 size card piece. So four and a quarter by five and a half. But the lowercase letters, you will need a little bit bigger of a piece to die cut it from. And then I stuck everything onto some press and seal. So I flipped my plate over because most of the letters stayed in my plate when I die cut it. I flipped it over and just applied that press and seal to the back. So it's holding all of my letters in place. I can keep this. So if I want to use some of the other letters that I didn't use, I'll have those handy. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is don't throw away those negative pieces. If you are into mixed media or you like stenciling, use these negative pieces to do mixed media projects or creating your own stencil. Maybe you have some sprays or some paste that you can use for it. This one is out of gold glitter cardstock and I just did not have the heart to throw it away. Don't forget your pattern paper. So this is the brand new 2024 color collection paper pad from Concord and Ninth. You are getting eight and a half by 11 sheets. There's 18 sheets in this pack. There's one of each of the three patterns in the six brand new colors. And these are some really great staple patterns to have. There's some gingham, there's polka dots, there's diagonal stripes. So these are just really good for using on backgrounds or maybe you wanna do shaker cards. You could use those panels for shaker cards. Die cut out your letters, your shapes, so many things with these patterns that you can do. For this card, I used some of the pattern paper as my background on my A2 size card front, but I also die cut out the letters from the pattern paper, and I did that from the polka dots. On this particular card, I have that white background. That is from the Primrose Garden. I'm gonna bring in my actual photograph here so you can see the piercing look on that. And then I did the word hugs at the top with the pattern paper. I love using my alphabet dies to customize my messages so I can trim out different letters in different colors. This card, I used the Contempo Turnabout stamp set in the background, and then I did Yay in some brand new colors that have been released. You can also do your own shadow layers. So for this one, I die cut it out of white cardstock and black cardstock, and then I slightly offset it to give it a shadow and make it pop off of the front of the card a little bit more. Here I mixed and matched the capital letters with the lowercase letters and put those letters inside of the balloons, which is from the Bunch of Balloons stencil. Once you have an alphabet die in your stash, you'll wonder how you lived without it. And that's a closer look at the All Together Alphabet Dies.